Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the mighty, reigns. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather once more around the table of the Lord, let us prepare, prepare ourselves to receive Christ in our hearts by calling to mind our sins once again and trusting in the risen Lord. Ask Him for His mercy and His forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you suffered and died on the cross for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you rose from the dead and won for us the gift of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord, the Lord is King, King. He, he is robed in majesty. majesty. The Lord is King, in splendor robed, Robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. And He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust in Thee. Holiness befits Your house. O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. So that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, 
you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When our Lord Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above, he is not making a physical statement, but rather he is making a spiritual statement. Jesus, what Jesus is trying to get at here is that to be born from above is to go through a spiritual birth. We go through a lot of moments of spiritual birth in our lives. And we go through those spiritual births at a time we do not expect. Yesterday, I helped out Father Leon. Um, video record a graveside uh, service at a cemetery nearby here to um, for for him to share the uh, video recorded service to the family to watch from from a distance. Um, the service was for an 80 year old something woman, and Father Leon shared that um, the husband had a conversation with him where the husband told him, you know, now she's gone, what do I do? It's a rather poignant statement that reflects a spiritual birth that that husband is going through. And it is in those moments of uncertainty that he now goes through a kind of spiritual birth, the labor pangs of spiritual birth. Because he's going through that birth of a new life without her, whether he likes it or not. And in the same way, it is in the, mo in the moments of uncertainty, like the moments that we live right now, where we go through spiritual birth. Spiritual birth is not pleasant. Mo most of the time, it can be painful where we are confronted by our old lives to shed and let go of that old skin to give way to new skin. And so in these moments of social distancing and shelter in place, we are going through a moment of spiritual birth. We are being shed of our old lives, part of our old lives, to give way to the new. We are being born into adjusting to a new life, a new lifestyle, from being outgoing, you know, I bet most outgoing persons uh, go through a spiritual birth uh, a little more difficult than others, where uh, we have to stay at home. We have to be confined at home. To what are the places that we go to are limited. And so it is not easy, the spiritual birth. But that's the only way we can achieve perfection. Because our Lord desires for us a life that is like Him. A life 
of perfection, close to divine perfection. And to go through that divine perfection, we have to go through the painful process of spiritual birth. Every day we are confronted with that, letting go of the things that we need to give way to the things that really matter to us. And so one thing is for sure, that when this, all of this is said and done, we will be different people. And hopefully we will be different because of our openness to the Spirit going, giving us a new birth and not different because of our resistance to it. As we continue to seek to re be reborn in our risen Lord, let us in faith and confidence bring to him our prayers this morning. So we continue to pray for our church, for Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gomez, for all our bishops, priests, and deacons, that in these times as we are being led to rebirth in Christ, they may lead us closer to the heart of our risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, especially those infected and affected by the coronavirus, that they may be led to the safety and health by the healing touch of our risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who mourn and grieve in these times, whether because of a loss of a loved one, because of difficulties in their life, all those who find it difficult to be happy in these moments. The peace and comfort of our Lord may enter into their hearts and lift them to consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the health and safety of all of our essential workers, for our nurses, our doctors, all those who continue to work so that our lives may be comfortable, that they may be kept safe and healthy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Jewish brothers and sisters as they commemorate all the lives that were lost in the Holocaust. May we, as a people of faith, walk with our brothers and sisters of the Jewish faith and praying that know that a tragedy like that may no longer happen in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have died. May they rest in the peace of heaven, especially the repose of the soul of Joaquin Serrano, for whom we offer this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, let us bring to our loving God our own prayers and petitions. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-loving God, as the apostles built a community of faith, so too you call us to be of one community in mind and heart in you. Listen, we pray to the prayers we bring before you as we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Freed of the air from work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands have become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now, and let, and let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb oh, of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. that Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.